Now we'll massage the lower back. Start with bent knees, feet shoulder width apart, and place the roller just behind the buttocks. You'll want the roller to be moving or you'd like to position onto the roller somewhere above the dimples here, so above the SI joints, and towards your ribs. Now here we also have the kidney line to be very aware of, and if it feels like deep pain inside that does, just doesn't feel right, skip this variation altogether and do the next one. But for now, assuming that this will work for you, place the roller right behind your bum and lean into it. Pulling the navel to the spine will help. Sit in this position, shoulder blades down, arms by your side, and breathe and relax. If you do not feel much stretch at all and you want to try something different for more, start lifting the bum just some. You need to pull your abs down, navel down to the back deeper. And if you can, make very small movements back and forth with your legs in charge. If that's enough for now or it doesn't feel right, skip to the next variation where we'll position the roller right here across the dimples above the bum cheeks at your SI joints. And this is what we'll do. Lie on the back, lift the buttocks up, move the roller in the right spot, move the hands around the sides of the roller, pull your navel to the spine and raise one knee up, then raise the other knee up. And if you're not feeling stable here, if you're feeling that your bum is sliding forward, then lift and move the roller just to find a stable position. Once the knees are up, you can begin with slow and quick knee dips side to side to loosen up any tight area where you are. And then we can continue from here by dipping the knees lower and keeping your thighs coming down right on top of the roller you're going to get a nice twist in the lower back. Maintain your lower abs in to protect your back from over twisting. And go only as low as your knees can make it. It's okay if you don't make it all the way to the roller. Right here, you're going to feel a nice opening in the opposite side of the waist from where you're tilted. Don't stay too long at first. Pull your knees up. Navel to the spine still so you can tilt to the other side. And slowly with control, dip the knees all the way down if you can make it, or however low you can. Opening the opposite side of the waist. Take a deep breath. Abs in, navel to spine, we'll do that again. So this time I'll demonstrate not going as low as the roller. Halfway there. And come up. And once more to the other side and come up. By now you'll most likely have to adjust the roller once again so you feel more stability and pull the navel to the spine. One knee comes up, another knee comes up for the last variation here. We're going to start dipping the knees to the side halfway to the roller then keeping your navel to the spine, move the knees forward, drawing a circle with your knees onto the ceiling. Come back to center. Begin on the other side, inhale. Exhale, circle around and come back to center. And we'll do one more set, adjust your shoulders down if necessary. Keep the neck flat and straight to the side. Exhaling around to the other side, then center. And one more time, start dipping to the left. Around and back up to center. When you're done, place your knees down and we'll move on to middle back.